Designs. This is Arlene again, and uh, this is going to be an interesting project. I found a picture of a bracelet sort of like this one in the Crochet Addict uh, Facebook group, and um, immediately I went ahead and made it, and a lot of the uh, crocheters in there did not have... Um, any idea on how you know to make the bracelet some of them are beginners and some are not but I promised them that I would make them a video on how to make the bracelet the bracelet might have taken me anywhere from 40 to 45 minutes to make so um, it's kind of a quick project so it's made with one two three four five buttons the buttons are kind of large I don't know uh, button measurements so I'm gonna get my tape measure so that you can see what they measure up to okay I guess they're one inch buttons however you can make these um, with uh, slightly smaller buttons the buttons I'm gonna use now are slightly smaller so this size is just a little tad smaller than the than one inch, and um, this bracelet it came out a little, just a little too big for my arm. I guess because I switched to larger buttons. But if you're using smaller buttons, you might not you might need more buttons. But um, you can use as many buttons as your wrist requires all you have to do is just go measuring it on your arm as you go making it and then you can make this little fastening thing here with the button at the end you know and this you can crochet it as long as you need it to if adding an extra button is not going to work out you could just make the little button loop a little longer so that it can reach the button so I want to get this started and I'm going to use uh, a set of three different uh, crochet hooks one is a uh, one and a quarter 1.5 and 2 millimeters the reason why I pull these out is because depending on the size of the button you need a needle that's going to fit through your buttonhole and uh, I tried it with the through my trial and error and this needle did not fit so if your needle fits through any of these and be mindful that you're gonna have to slip the needle through the hole uh, about three times so as the thread goes through the hole it gets a little more difficult for the needle to pass through so you can bear that in mind I tried to find buttons that had a larger hole but to no avail so um, it looks like this is a good size and this might be a better size with this bracelet I made I used a size 3 crochet thread but to make life a little easier I'm gonna use I'm gonna try to make this it with a size 10 and I usually double my size 10 thread when I'm crocheting because it's just so thin but for this bracelet demonstration I'm not going to um, I'm not going to double it because I want it to be a little more simpler to fit to pass through the button so what we're gonna need is um, not many not much uh, we're gonna need a scissor we're gonna need a blunt needle to sew in our ends and our crochet hooks whichever size you need and of course you're gonna need a selection of buttons so once you choose your buttons then you can choose the rest of your stuff so I'm gonna start with the smaller hook the uh, one and a quarter millimeter hook okay so let's get started we're gonna start with our loop we're gonna start with our loop and I'm gonna use one of the darker buttons to begin with 
and we're going to put our needle through the loop and hold on to this thread because if not it'll dance around the button like this and you can do this with half double crochets or single crochets this here is a single crochet and that's one this is two this is three and I think we're gonna get away with four because there's still a lot of room in the button and there's four and then you're gonna see your stitches they're gonna come forward a little bit just slide them back they swivel around the buttonhole okay so now we're going to go on to the next buttonhole that's one two Oops, that one slipped. And that's three. And that's four. Okay. So now we're going to do this on the beginning, the first button and the last button. We're going to fill in all the holes. Okay, oops, there I go with my half double crochet. Um, we're going to put four in this button hole as well. One. Two. three and four now we're gonna go to the next button hole oops no half double just single crochet one four okay so now we have all of our buttons filled um, you can just make a small adjustment here slide them back uh, try not to make these stitches uh, tight these came out slightly tight and um, it's kind of giving me a hard time to straighten out so make them loose but not too loose where they're dancing around the button where the button is floating around in there you don't want them too loose okay so now I'm gonna do uh, chains one two and three I think three will help me to reach my next button let's see where it'll leave us well, see how it dances around there? You have to hold the thread. And we're going to do our next single crochet. Uh, we're going to do four of them. I want to see how far apart my buttons are. Uh, they're kind of touching each other. I don't really want them to touch each other so I'm going to add 
a couple more stitches. I'm going to try one more stitch. These stitches will also determine how long your bracelet will come out. Okay, so let's try it again. Oops. Okay. That's one. This is two. Okay, so there's some space in between there. They're not going, they're not touching each other too much. Although, if I stretch it, but if I lay them down, they're kind of touching each other. Okay, so trial and error. So we have here one, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four. So we're going to add one more stitch and see how that works. So that's five. So remember, if your buttons are smaller, you can do this with by adding more buttons. The, the amount that you're going to need to have the bracelet fit around your arm. Okay, so let's see what it's going to look like now. Okay, this is going to spin around this way like this, and we're going to sew on the next button there. So I think that's far enough. Okay, so we, we add, we're adding five uh, chain stitches in between the buttons. Okay, so we have two here, and now we're adding three. That's three stitches and one more. That's four. Okay, so we're going to sort of slide that over a little bit so we can reach in the next button. This is not a project where it will let you move quickly. If you move quickly, <laughs> you're going to keep missing the thread. It's going to keep slipping away. Okay, that's two. That's three. And this is four. Okay, so we have two buttonholes worked already. We're going to save the other two buttonholes for when we reach the other side of the bracelet. So I want you now to pick up your next button and we're going to crochet into our next buttonhole. And we're going to first add our five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Almost forgot to add our five chains. This is only my second time doing this. I did this a couple hours ago for the first time. Okay, that's one. Oops. This is two. And this is three. And 
and this is 4. Okay, so I'm going to meet you back here when you get all of your buttons that you need. Uh, all of the buttons that you use, you're going to use to measure around your wrist. Once you get them all hanging like this, before you add your last button that's going to go at the other end over here, um, that's where I want to meet you. So you go ahead and sew on your other buttons. I have like two more buttons to add, maybe. I think it's two. Um, and then I'm going to add the button at the end. Uh, out of those two buttons, one of them is going to be the end button. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here I am on my fourth button. I said I was going to add five buttons, but um, it turns out that with... Let me clear that up a little bit. Okay. It turns out that with the five stitches in between each button, the bracelet is almost fitting around my wrist. I have like this much space in between. Let me get the needle over there. That much space and we're gonna fill around it just like we did on this bracelet. We're gonna put an edging on it of maybe three more rows. So um, that's going to you know add to the uh, to the length of the bracelet. So I'm gonna stop at four buttons and I'm going to continue on to filling my button, all the holes on my button. So I have two stitches there. I'm going to put two more. If you need more buttons for your bracelet, you can go ahead and add them. Okay, so I have four there. And now I'm going to go all the way around and fill in the other two buttons. Oops. Slip the way. Okay. Okay, I believe this is four. This one doesn't want to get through. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's our last one. Four. Okay, so now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to make sure that our bracelet is not twisted. Okay, so when we pick up our button to go into the other buttonholes right here, we want to make sure that our chains are not twisted so that we can get 
the front of all. See this one is twisted. I'm going to turn it around. We want to get the front of all of our buttons. Okay. That's two, three, and four. Okay, so continue going around and attaching all of your buttons like this. Now you're going to fill in your other buttonhole. One. Two, three, and four. Okay, and now we're going to chain five, two, three, four, five. If chaining five makes your bracelet too long, you can try three or two or whatever, depending on the size of your buttons. Okay, so now this is how we're coming along. Straighten that out. Okay, so I'm going to meet you back when I finish sewing my other button. Okay, so I finished sewing my last button. Uh, I have one more buttonhole to fill there, then we're going to slip stitch it onto this end. Okay, let me get a grip here. Okay, so now we chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to straighten out our buttons. And we're going to slip stitch in that first uh, single crochet that we made. So now we're going to crochet around. You're going to chain one. And this is where you can do the half double crochets. And you're going to put one in the first stitch. You're going to put two in the next stitch. I'm not used to uh, working with this uh, number 10 thread. So that's two, and you're going to put one in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. One off, one on. And you're going to put one in this stitch. So you're going to add two stitches in every other stitch around this button and then we're going to move on from there. Okay, so I filled in all of my edgings 
um, one half double crochet, two half double crochets, one half double crochet, two half double crochets, uh, evenly all the way around. Okay, so now inside this chain five space here, we're going to half double crochet, uh, probably like maybe six or seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see how that looks. That seems to look okay. So we're going to continue on now into the next button and we're going to add one stitch in each uh, stitch that's on the button. So that's one half double crochet in each stitch. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and this last one is eight. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to add our stitches to the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, I'm adding seven stitches because I think seven will do it for me. Um, if you need more, you can add or take away more. This is a custom bracelet to fit you. And um, now we're going to go on to our next button. So continue doing this all the way around. When you get to this button here, you're going to do the same thing you did on this end, which is one half double crochet. Uh, two half double crochets, one half double crochet, two half double crochets until you finish the button at the end and then you're going to put your stitches in here and we're going to do the same thing we're doing on this side. Be right back. Okay so I finished my first round and right here at the end I'm going to slip stitch it into the first row that I did to the beginning of the first row. I'm going to slip stitch it into that first half double crochet that I put there. And uh, now we're going to go on our second round of stitches. You're going to chain one and you're going to do the same thing here. Um, one half double crochet, two half double crochets, one, two, one, two if you need to if it starts to curl up like this then you need to put one on one off one on one off if it doesn't then you're good you can just put one single one half double crochet all the way around okay so you're gonna do one here and we're gonna put two in the next one in the next and two in the next one in the next all 
I owe that one another one. Two in this one. One in the next. Two in this one. One in the next. Oops. Two in this one. Now you're going to keep doing that until you get to this end right here. Okay, so again, like we did before, we're going to put one in each of these stitches and one in each of these stitches and again, repeat and again, repeat. And when you get around this end here, you're going to do one on, one off, one on, one off. One half double crochet, two half double crochets, one half double crochet, two half double crochets, all the way around the end button. When you get here, you're gonna put one in each stitch, one in each stitch, one in each stitch, uh, so forth and so forth. You're gonna repeat, okay? Okay, guys, so I just finished going around uh, the second round, and I'm going to get ready to slip stitch it over here. This is uh, when I start the next round, uh, that's where we're going to add our loop and our button, which I forgot to mention earlier. There's my slip stitch and chain one. I forgot to mention earlier that you're going to need a small button so that you can button your bracelet. Okay, so we're just going to leave those on standby, see which one is going to work best. So now on this round, we're going to do one half double crochet all the way around the button. And when we get right here to this middle of the button, right about here, where you see that split right in there, right about here, you're going to make your loop with a number of chains, depending on how many chains your button needs. So let's uh, start going around with our half double crochets. We just need one in each stitch for this round. Just about one more and we should be in the middle now okay so I'm gonna do about maybe three chains I'm gonna skip that next stitch and I'm going to sing a uh, half double crochet in the next one and I'm gonna see if uh, how my button fits just gonna make one more stitch so I'll get a more accurate fit. And let's see. I'm gonna need some more loops, some more chains. This one will probably fit, but I think this little guy is a, I think this little guy is too small. It fits perfectly in there though. Might have to take away one chain if I use this guy. Uh, what do you guys think? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what happens. I like that little tiny button. Okay, so we're going to continue going all the way around. You do your loop uh, for whatever size uh, fits your button. If you need to make a bigger loop, if your button doesn't fit, just remove these stitches and add uh, some more chains here. I'm going to use this little button, so I'm going to leave mine alone. And I'm going to continue to go around and do my half double crochets in each stitch all the way around the entire bracelet. That's our last round. 
Okay, I'm back. And here's where we are. I finished my last round. Here is my loop over here. My little tiny loop. Now what I did with this bracelet here is that I put a contrasting color on the edge and I made that uh, a I made this with a slip stitch and a chain one all the way around to give it a little bit more kick. So if you want, you can get another color and you can go around this again if you want to. Um, I don't know what color I should use. Okay, so I found a little ball of multi-purple. So I'm gonna see how that looks around my edge. <laughs> uh, just experimenting here. Okay, so this is where we slip stitch and we fastened off, or we can fasten off here. I'm gonna take my scissor and cut this. Okay, and then I put my loop around my new color already. So I'm just gonna go ahead in here where I left off. And in the stitch right next to that, I should have did a chain one here. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the stitch after that, and I'm gonna pick up my new color, that's the color I want in my hand. And I'm going to do a single crochet for the first one. And then in the next one, I'm going to do a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain one. And in the next one, I'm going to slip stitch and chain one. All the way around. And it sort of gives you like this uh, adorable little zigzag uh, looking edge. That's how this one came out. And you're going to just do that all the way around. And I'm going to show you how to get around your button, your buttonhole, or your button loop, rather. Now when you get to your button loop, you just go around the loop, chain one, same way you did with everything else. Do that like maybe two or three times. There you go. And you just continue on. And you do this all the way around until you're finished. I'll meet you back when it's time to sew on the button. Okay, so I went all the way around with my contrasting color and I chose my button. Which button did I choose? This guy. I chose this button because uh, the other one was a little too small. Okay, so now I'm going to sew in all my ends. I have my blunt needle already threaded with my ends and I'm sewing in my ends. So we're going 
take our button and we're going to put it on this end over here. Doesn't take much thread, just a little piece. So you can whip this around your buttons a couple of times. That's all it really takes. And uh, let's make a knot back there. And there you have your bracelet. Let's see how it fits. You might want to have somebody help you put the bracelet on. <laughs> I have crippling arthritic fingers not cooperating with me. Ah, there, I got it on. So, your bracelet is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this and sharing it with you. Thank you so much for watching.